high. I'm Candice Gordain. We're going to do a quick 20-minute yoga session that's going to integrate personal training principles. So very quickly today, if you have a, a dumbbells and blocks, please join me down on the floor. We're going to start out just twisting the shoulders open and closed. Our bodies are designed to move. And training is applying the principles of systematically manipulating all the variables so that over time the body makes improvements in fitness and performance. So the shoulders usually are the most prone joint to overuse injuries. Now take the elbows in and out, in and out. So there's these little muscles called rotator cuff muscles that usually get a little bit injured by daily wear and tear, but definitely by doing training methods. So we really want to make sure that we're paying attention. Now take the elbows in and twist the arm bones in and out. Notice the shoulder blades are moving with that. The shoulder blades are really the most important bone to understand about shoulder health. So now keep the shoulder blades flat on the back and just move the arms, the, the humerus, the arm bone, without trying to move. So you can't go as far. Hold those shoulder blades stuck on the back. Then take one hand, hand across and in and then twist it up and open. Twist down and in, twist open. Now my head's going and I'm sort of turning the body, but this is just about turning at the shoulder, that arm bone socket, so that when we move our arms around, we're keeping the shoulder stable and safe. Go the other way, twist down, lift up, twist down. We're discovering for ourselves the fine tuning of movement so that we can make these adaptations. Good. Now take the arms back and behind you, Turn the thumbs down, see if those hands can kind of reach each other. If they can, interlace them and pull down and back. Once again, there's one rotator cuff muscle there that's really prone to injury, and it's when we rotate the arm forward, which we do in our everyday movements. Then we're going to say eagle the arms. Take one arm down and one arm on top of it. Notice it did that rotation down, and then twist the arms and lift. Release that, make these big wings. Take the other arm down across like we started before. Then the elbow sits on top of it. Then twist the arm bones and pull kind of the arms into each other. Take a breath in. When you exhale, release that, but wake up your mind. So notice what you're feeling in the belly. Squeeze the abdominal. So why is the core so important to shoulder and improvements in training? Let's see. As we come to hands and knees pose, and we put some pressure now on the arms, which we don't normally do in everyday activity. We don't typically get in hands and knees. We don't do that. But what we do is we lift things, we pull things, we, we reach up overhead. So learning how to stabilize when the shoulder joint is holding a weight is what's important. Now pull those shoulder blades down and back. Notice I can wing my shoulder blades up, so look for a second, or I can pull them down and back. So pull them down, and I say back, you know, down into the, the center of the body. Then pull, co-contract the abdominals, keep the neck and the spine long. Try bending both elbows so that the, the chest lands sort of in between the hands and the arms go out a little bit at a diagonal without letting the shoulders turn inward and up into the, the neck. That's important. Keeping the shoulder blades wide and pulled down is important. Push up and down. Try a few of those. Squeeze your abdominals. Keep the shoulder blades held in place. So we're putting some pressure now on these shoulders. Come up and hold. Grab a dumbbell. I'm going to try taking that arm out and down. Same thing. We're using this shoulder that's holding you up to hold and steady that whole girdle. And then this other shoulder is moving the arm and the shoulder blade is sort of holding in place with muscles underneath the shoulders called serratus anterior that help you hold. Now brace the abdominals, keep the shoulder down away from the ear so don't let the shoulder crunch up and then we'll go to the other side. So one arm, fly it out, shoulder blade stuck on the back. So be aware of the muscles that rotate. The bigger muscles like the trapezius latissimus dorsi, and even the delta, to an extent, they already are used to working because you have to use them anytime you lift your arms. Do two or three more. Brace your abdominals. Think about how you're tuning the deeper movements. So these are deep muscles. And then release down. Stretch the arms forward. Splay the fingers out and push the hips up and back. 
So use your hands and imagine you're dragging your arms down and into their sockets, but you're not going anywhere. You're isometrically contracting. Come all the way down and onto the belly when you get there. Take your arms out like goalposts and then lift the arms up. Twist the arms so the hands turn and even the thumbs lift up to the ceiling and then turn and release them back down. So it's lift the arms, twist, lift up, turn. So the elbows go down and the arms like you're kind of throwing something, but don't do it fast. Throwing the arms back and behind you. So it's lift, twist, turn and down. Lift, twist, turn and down. Now all the while you're doing this, you're keeping your shoulders pulled down and not crunching into that neck. Do three or four of these. Remember what we're doing today is we're building on the phases. We're strengthening around the muscles and the joint so that we make adaptations so that when we recover, which we're about to do, we're going to make changes in the body. Push all the way back to child's pose. Take two breaths. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Then come up a little. Take one arm across and kind of let your body weight push down onto that arm. Feel that stretch. So all those little muscles we just used. So recovery and restoration are just as important as the active phase of putting stress. So training is applying stress, systematically manipulating the variables of you know, intensities and volumes and times and speeds to make a change come up, switch the other way, and the body learns. So infuse the lessons deep into the body. What muscles are you feeling now? Awaken, wake up your mind in the muscles, in the joint. Training and yoga are different, but we can definitely apply training principles to yoga and vice versa. Let's come back up to hands and knees. I want to work these shoulders a little bit more. I want you to try to challenge yourself. So lift one leg up and back behind you, and we'll try this again. Brace the abdominals. Pull the shoulders down. Remember, shoulder blades on the back. None of that winging out. Then bend the elbows. The chin and the chest come kind of between the hands and back up. Try a few of those. So brace the shoulders. Notice how one shoulder, one arm, is stronger than the other and is able to do this. And the other one is sort of struggling. And it, so what it's trying to do is push your body weight to the other one. That's natural. Try to do this evenly. Two more. Brace the abdominals. Let all the strength and the power come from your core. Try the other leg. One leg out. This is just making it a little bit uneven and causing the arms to have to figure this out. So down and up. Shoulders wide. Shoulder blades stuck on the back. Brace. Brace. Brace the shoulder blades. Brace the abdominals. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's come up into a kneeling pose. Circle the arms up overhead. Extend up and back. Now notice the chin stays down as you push the hip bones forward and lift the belly upward. Now widen the arms. Now pull the elbows down and back like you're going to fold your elbows into your low back and stretch them out. Remember, I'm still twisting open here. Down and out. Two more times. This should feel really great in your shoulders when we're all done. Come back into hands and knees pose. Lift up into downward dog pose. Step forward to forward fold. Roll all the way up. Use your abdominals to scoop and maintain the movements, the micro movements in the spine. Come to the back of your mat. Stabilize. Bend the knees. Squeeze the core muscles. Here we go. Step one leg forward, slowly landing. That's a funny kind of creeping step. Bend the front knee, but straighten the back leg. Can I do that again? Bend the nut front knee, straighten the back leg, circle the arms up, lean the arms a little bit forward. Now here's the work here. Pull the shoulders onto the back. Pull the shoulders. Do that a few times to get that feeling of like almost rowing. 
your shoulders, twisting them open and pulling them down, twisting open, pulling down. It's a lot like what we just did with the twisting and turning open. Then lift off and balance in a warrior three, turning this hip down, turning those toes down. Now turn open, so twist the hips, <laughs> twist the chest, stretch the arms out in a big letter T, <laughs> balance. Turn back to the front, step back into that high lunge. Remember, twist the shoulders down and back, then step all the way to the back of the mat. Do that again. Lift the other leg up, micro bend the knee, zip the core muscles in, take a step forward, land softly, bend the front knee, straighten the back leg, circle up. Now here's the thing, arms go a little forward, but the shoulder blades pull down and back. This is the most important little movement to remember anytime you're doing anything. Then lift off, come to warrior three. Square the hips, square that back leg. So this is building awareness. There's almost no way I can see what's going on there. Then turn open, so one hip revolves up and over the other. Now make this big side airplane pose balance, then come back to that warrior three. So, so much is going on around that hip. Step back into this high lunge, arms forward, shoulders back, then step all the way back into Tadasana. Circle up, forward fold down, come down any way that you can to a seated pose. Let's try grabbing. Let's just say grab one weight. Grab one weight. Hold it at the center of the chest. Lean back. Squeeze your abs. Pull the shoulders onto the back. Lift one or both legs and hold. Twist the upper body. and Hold. Twist the other way and hold. Come back to center and hold. Bring the feet down and hold. Bring the toes together, widen the knees and hold. Try hollowing out the belly and hold. Then roll all the way down. All right, let's put that weight down. Good, really good work today. So I want you to try putting, I'm gonna say a blanket. If you have blocks, you can use the blocks. But I'm gonna say a blanket because I have that blanket there. I'm going to take this blanket and I'm going to make a little prop, but then curl the end. For, that's going to be for my neck. So the blanket's going to start sort of mid-back. For me, low my back because I'm little. But it's got to prop up kind of your ribs and your chest. Then you have to have something for your head. So you might have another little blanket. Stretch the arms out so that your chest can fall open. Close your eyes. And come with me on this breathing practice. Okay. Now relax into whatever is supporting you. And know that you are not alone. Let the universe help you. Now gently, gently let go. Feel as if you are connected to a magical universe. I'd like you to stand in the gateway to a beautiful land. I want you to charge the picture that you see in front of you with all of your senses, the colors, any emotional energy. Feel the weight of your body relaxing downward. Soften, release anything holding you. Now step through this gateway into a big, beautiful, magical universe. As you go in, you instantly discover a dimension, 
of quiet, an oasis where there is tranquility. You feel your muscles let go and immediately you feel supported. Everything that you choose to do feels easy. You feel accepted by this universe. And now as your body gets heavier, you feel more connected. You feel more encouraged. And you feel more empowered. Feel the stress melting away as the lessons from your practice create a deep understanding in your body. Every cell of your body learning and adapting. Relax into this knowledge deep within you. Connect, connect to the universe from within you and you expand and you expand. Stay still for a moment. Breathe in, let it go with a sigh, let your shoulders fall, breathe in, let it go with a sigh, let your shoulders fall back. And now that your body is fully relaxed, quiet, connected to a newer, deeper, dimension of connectedness, wake up your mind, wake up, wake up your mind, and now feeling supported, inhale, roll over to your side, push off the floor, and press all the way back up, and touch the thumbs to the heart, Inhale and circle up, touch the universe. As you exhale now, bring all of this beauty and its majesty back into your heart. I bow to you. Namaste.